Wolverhampton Wanderers are in a sink or swim situation for their Premier League status. It's really all to play for with having gotten rid of Ruben Neves, having gotten rid of Raul Jimenez, and five days before the season starts getting rid of Lopetegui. It's a rough one and we're here to try and see if we can secure their survival and, and, and build from there. What we're going to do is we're going to take five seasons at Wolverhampton Wanderers. We're going to leave Gary O'Neill in charge for the time being at least. We're going to do some transfer windows. We're going to skip ahead some seasons. Five years, see how much we can get done. Before we get into it, make sure you do leave us that like down below. Subscribe if you're new. Uh, comment what you think of the video, the transfers, the team, the tactics, the uh, Gary O'Neill. I don't know. Anyway, this is how I see the, the team lining up. I mean, for the most part anyway, with um, Bournemouth previously and now with um, Wolves, this is what Gary O'Neill's played. I mean, it's basic. I mean, a, a lot of teams end up, yeah, it looks something like this, but it's a 4-2-3-1. It's a counter-attacking formation. I, I Look, I don't know, and we don't have much money to play with. We have about £3 million left in the bank, so I don't really know what we can do with that, even with, like, the money from um, Matias Nunez, uh, who's, of course, we've gone to Manchester City, as well as Ruben Neves and uh, Raul Jimenez. I don't really see what we can do. I do really like the look of Jean Rickner Bellegarde. I really like the look of him, um, the the first half at least, against Liverpool last week and um, looked really good. Um, or I guess when this comes out two weeks ago, maybe. Anyway, um, I, I'm not sure his football manager attributes reflect how good he is yet. Maybe that'll come um, in FM24, which will be coming soon. Um, I really like the look of him, but I'm not sure if he really cuts it here, especially given that Tommy Doyle looks a whole lot better. Anyway, um, he, he, that's an issue. Um, one positive, I guess, is Gonzalo Guedes. Um, uh, Guedes? I'm going to say Guedes because it just rolls off my tongue easier if I'm getting that wrong. So, was, um, uh, there's just a lot that needs work, isn't there? I also like Jack Gomez. I think he's probably a bit of a cornerstone for the team. Um, each of these rebuilds that we've done, there's been a few players that really are cornerstones and are players that we do want to keep around for the entirety of uh, our rebuild, I guess. Um, this time around, um, uh, yeah, Tommy Doyle maybe is one of them, depending on how much we can get him for from Manchester City. Joe Gomez is definitely one. Bellegarde, I would love to be one, but I don't know if he actually turns out to be that good in football manager, so maybe it's not for me. Um, Semedo's quite good. Aitnuri is quite good. Wang is meh. Cunha is quite good. This fella is definitely one. I, I want to keep Pedro Neto at the club. If, like, the start to this season has shown us anything, he's basically like, I don't know, the West Ham version of Dimitri Payet on steroids. Like, I don't know. Like, he, he looks fantastic. He started this season out absolutely fantastically. Um, so, I think he's going to be a huge player for us. I don't really know what that looks like, especially if we're playing this counter attacking football. I don't know. Maybe that's something that we consider. Um, anyway, this is what it looks like. Um, obviously, there's some some stuff that needs to be shedded, like um, yes, and mascara can probably go. I do have. I, I mean, I've only just started the save, so I don't. I don't have him on anything, but uh, he's on the loan list. Um, and then Hugo Bueno can probably go out on loan as well. Yeah, makes sense. Um, and then maybe the same for Traore. Although maybe he looks better in game than Bellegarde. Oh. I also don't know how to say his name, just by the way. That's it. Anyway, um, I'm going to do some transfers, or, um, or not. I don't know. We'll see. Try and do some transfers, and then we'll kick off the first season. See you shortly. Now, did we get any business done? Yes. And I'm playing the long game with it, really. I didn't, you know, necessarily see that we... I mean, there were holes, obviously, in attacking midfield, left wing, centre attack mid, you know. There were holes, um, and, and ones we needed to fix, but I didn't go for one that is an immediate fix, but more of a long-term solution, like Quang is pretty good, uh, Cunha is pretty good, Sarabia obviously quite good, Pedro Neto quite good, so I went for one that can sort of play a bit second fiddle, but also grow at the same time. It's Jan Tillman, um, from Football Manager Heritage, firstly, like he's, yeah, he, he, he's that guy on this game. Um, hopefully it pans out, because he's got five-star potential. Um, we'll see, I guess. Um, did pay 21 million for him, it says 17 here, but I think um, if we can go here, uh, potential add-ons go up to 21. So that, uh, what was it? Uh, 4 million, I think we started with. 
I've loaned out a lot of people. Like a lot of people have been loaned out. Uh, and, and somehow, yeah, we've just they've turned it into enough money to, across time, pay 21 million potentially. Anyway, that's, uh, yeah, that's what he looks like. Uh, yeah, it's not great, honestly, at, at 21, but like the technicals definitely need, need work. This is what the squad looks like, though. Hopefully I've already done it. Let's have a look. Yeah, pretty good. Um, I mean, we've clearly got rid of uh, Hugo Bueno. We've got rid of Mascara, I think his name is. Um, and then uh, we haven't been able to get rid of one of the midfielders. So it is just the addition of Thielman and us playing some counter-attacking football. I'm not, I'm not, sh I'm not convinced by counter-attacking football when we clearly lack quality. If you know what I mean. Anyway, we'll see how the first season goes. Gary O'Neill is here for now. Whether he stays here, I, I don't know. We'll see how the first season goes. Let's skip ahead. The results are in, and first season under Gary O'Neill. We've done rather well, honestly. Uh, if if Wolves finish ninth, I think I'll set this shirt on fire. I don't know. Uh, I've tried to think of something that I wouldn't really care about. Um, firstly, the three promoted teams go straight down. Might happen, who knows. Um, we finished ninth, though. That's pretty damn good. If you look at our past positions... We, I mean, started hard here. A two-all draw with Everton after one-all draw with City. So we won, and then we drew, and then we drew, and we were down to eighth. Man, teams are doing well. But then we've gone, we've shot up after, what's this, match day 10? 11? We were sitting in second, somehow. Um, and then, you know, plateaued a little bit. Um, and then it, you know, steadily got worse. We beat Brentford, but then lost to Arsenal. Chelsea and Everton. Oh, Everton, that's not good. Um, and then beat Aston Villa, and then the last day beat Burnley. So, all in all, a pretty good season. I take that. Except that like, the cups are not good. We won. The th we came third in the friendly cup, so that's good. We I was really rooting for that one. Um, FA Cup, fifth round by Liverpool. Getting knocked out by Liverpool's fine. It's knocked out of the second round by Portsmouth. Not good. Um, as for how people have performed, season number one, 22 goals for Matthijs Cunha. He's wanted by Brentford and Fulham. Surely 22. How many did he score in the league? In 21 Premier League goals. I guess. I guess if they're better teams than us, I guess so. Um, Sarabia, 11 goals. Pedro Neto, 8 goals, 12 assists. Looking very good. Looking positive. You love to see it. Worth up to 60 million now. Don't want to sell him. Probably get him a new contract. Kalajic, seven goals. Didn't play a whole lot. Um, assists, Neto and Sarabia. Johnny, decent. Wandered by Forest. Made of wandered by Palace. Tommy Doyle. I think I've, I'd like to keep him around. I'd, I'd like... Does he have a... There's not a buy option in his... I feel like there is in real life and it's really low. I feel like the deal was like City got Nunez for you know forty eight million or whatever it ended up being, um, probably more than that. I don't know, um, <clears throat> but sent him on loan with a low clause. It's like five million pounds something like that. But he looks quite good. He's done a decent job for us. I think I'd like to keep him around. It depends on how much we get to yeah spend on him. Um, and then performances, Fabio Silva. Fabio Silva is one. I, I can't stand the guy. I, I'd, I'd like to see him go. Because um, he seems like the coach's son. You know what I mean? Like, have you ever played in, in one of those teams where there's someone who plays for the club or plays in the team that really doesn't deserve to be there? And it's because he's the coach's son and he just keeps playing him. He's like, yeah, he's my son. He'll, he can play striker. He, he can go all the way up top, mate. Do whatever you want. And he's just rubbish. And he, it's just like... What's he doing in the top team? He should, he should be in like the, I don't know, eighth division, not Div 2 or div, whatever. Anyway, um, that, I feel like I'm saying that from personal experience. Um, yeah, Fabio Silva looks fine. He's not worth 35 to 48 million. Goodness me. Um, had a great season though in, in his one start and three bench appearances. Um, who else didn't play? Um, a couple of backup goalkeepers. Totti, Totti Gomez. Yeah, he can probably go. Um, Fabio Silva hopefully goes. Both Traore and Bellegarde didn't really play. 
Matt Doherty didn't play. Nate Nuri didn't play is weird. That's a weird one, surely. Well, I guess Johnny probably played ahead of him. Anyway, um, anybody contracts expiring this season? Just Tommy Doyle, Tommy King. Can't stop burping because I'm having beer off the screen. Um, uh, yeah, right. Anyway, look, average. I mean, great season in the Premier League. To finish ninth with Wolves, season one, fantastic. As far as the performance go, they feel average, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, that we've performed better than our performances look like. Anyway, I'm going to do some transfers. There'll be ins, outs. We'll see what we get done um, and head into season two. So, after another summer full of a lot of loan moves. We've brought in eight players. I'm looking at them. Seven players, um, including free transfer, some money spent, and some... Some good players, I think, have come in. Um, we have got rid of a few players, starting with Pablo Sarabia. Um, he did have a good season for us. I mean, what was it? Eight, uh, uh, nine, 11 goals in all competitions, 11 assists, um, which is pretty good. 36 million. So we made 31 million pound profit on him uh, after one season. So we take those. That's, uh, uh, yeah, pretty good, I guess. He scored on his debut for Dortmund. So money, money well spent on a 32-year-old Pablo Sarabia. Maybe. Next on the chopping block, out to Sporting Club Portugal. It was Daniel Podence. Podence? Podence? I don't know. He's 28 years old. Um, he was at uh, Olympiacos on loan last season. We then sold him on for £21 million. Pounds. So, I mean, it's a profit. But, you know, no, 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 whatever. That's where he's come from. I didn't even just think about it. I just sold him. I just didn't want him. Didn't want him. We didn't have the space for him um, with, obviously, Huang. Um, no, we did. I've spoiled something there, haven't I? So that means we've brought someone in, hasn't it? Also, leaving the club, it's an odd one. Not one that necessarily I expected this soon. I think across the five years I was expected to get rid of him is Johnny. Um, Johnny Otto, he has gone to Atletico Madrid. Um, a nice little £15 million, pounds, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, we bought him for £15 million. It's £19 million pounds, um, that they have spent on him. I'm pretty happy with that. He's, a, uh, he's fine. He's pretty decent, but... End of the day, um, as said, like he he was going to be here for not all five years, so if we can get we can get better money for him now than we would have done in the future, I'll take that. I guess one that was a little bit weird and unexpected, but when it the, when the offer came in, I think you'd expect it or oh, understand it. It's Matt Doherty. Um, he's gone to Nottingham Forest. He's thirty two years old. They've spent sixteen million pounds on him after. A, an average season didn't really do that much. Uh, free transfer to our. Uh, you know what I mean? This is a weird career that's gone on here. And then he's at 32, gone for 16.5 million pounds to Nottingham Forest. So, again, I guess similarly to Johnny, I thought when the offer came in, I was like, you know what? It's better to take that money now than to keep him on for another two seasons, watch him regress, and then get nothing for him. That's the theory, anyway. Lastly, and possibly least importantly, it is Yosem Mascara. Um, he was out on loan last season to Cardiff. Played decent, I guess. Um, or decent enough. So, yeah. Loaned out. And now he's gone. So, we've made a profit on him again. As much as that's worth, I guess. 200,000. Um, yeah, he's, he was never really going to... If we want to take the club forward, he was never really going to do anything. Then we move to the incomings. And, of course, this is the exciting part where we start to shape things. Where we start to give... Gary O'Neill, it is still Gary, it's Gary O'Neill still, yeah, he's, he's, I've decided to keep him around for now. Um, gave him the tools anyway to go forward, do what he wants to do, make the team into whatever he needs it to be. The first tool that we've given him is Tommy Doyle. So we did, we did end up buying Tommy Boyle, Boyle, Doyle, for 25 million pounds, potentially going up to 29 and a half, which is probably more than I want to spend on him, but look, he had a decent season for us last year, his first season in the Premier League. He had a decent season. He looks quite good. He's young, English, talented, worth a lot of money now. I think that's pretty good business, hopefully. Next player that we have brought in from relegated Sheffield United. It's Anil Ahmed Hodzic. Um, oh, look, I, I thought it was a pretty good business because we, we only spent, yeah, eight and a half million pounds on him. So not a whole lot of money spent, but he is quite decent. Um, it's like probably definitely Premier League quality and could do a job for us. Probably continue to get a little bit better as well, so I might be here for the rest of it, might not. We'll see. Depends how good we get, I guess. And 
more money we can spend and all that stuff. He's a perfectionist. Um, hopefully, you know, that serves him well and he does does all right for us. I don't know. I don't know. There's not much to talk about with Anil Ahmed Hodzic. Like, is there really? Filling the hole of Johnny Otto having left the club. So it was just Aiden at left back until we brought in Marcelo Saracci from somewhere in Argentina. Yeah, Boca, Boca Juniors he's come in from um, where he spent a couple of seasons. Did decent, it looks like. But then I guess halfway through that season, he's, he's had a weird career, isn't he? Like he spent obviously time Uruguay where he's from. Argentina was decent. Went to Leipzig and didn't really do anything. Loaned to Galatasaray where he seemed decent. Back to Leipzig, didn't do anything. Free transfer during the season, it looks like. Barely played. Somehow ended up at Boca Juniors. Two seasons where he's barely played, really. Again, six games, 14 games. So across the last three three years, he's played 24 games. And we've paid seven... I think I'm talking myself out of this, but he looks good. He looks better than that makes him out to be, I think. Next up, another transfer listed player, someone that I thought it was probably a good bet putting some money on him. It is Jacob Ki Kiwio, Ki Kiwaya, Kiwi. An Arsenal fan can tell me how to pronounce it. Um, they have made a huge loss on him. They uh, just spent stupid money on him at the end of the day for us to get him. And he's now worth more. He was he was transfer listed. I thought it was a good business to, to get him and, and we can either benefit from him being great or sell him on for more. So yeah, pretty good business. Um, you'll see how the squad's shaping up. It'll make sense soon, I guess. Next up, replacing Matt Doherty at right back. Doherty, Doherty. Is it Doherty or Doherty? Like, what do you say? I'm going to say Doherty. So I think that's how you say it in Australia, but I don't know, mate. Uh, it's Rasmus Christensen. He's a right back. He's quite decent. He, um, you know, is on loan at Roma this season. Had a decent time there. I guess 19 appearances is decent, but we bought him for 24 million pounds from Leeds, I guess. But I think he looks quite good. He's 27, so if we have four seasons to go, I don't know if he does stick around for all four, but I guess we will see. And I think he's quite good and, and will definitely provide competition for Zomato, if not play more than Zomato. Last, but definitely not least. I've left him to last because I'm most excited, perhaps, about him. It is Laya Labada. Um, I haven't actually really bought him on Football Manager, I don't think, um, this year at least. And... He always seems to turn out to be brilliant. He'll end up at your PSGs, Real Madrid's, Manchester City's, all of the above. And he turns out to be really good. Um, so I'm hoping that happens here at Wolves. Um, we've paid £23 million, million pounds for him after a great season for Celtic, where he's... Yeah, he's been real good. 10 goals, 12 assists, average rating of 7.42. Which is pretty good. So we've brought him in, um, obviously replacing um, perhaps Sarabia on the right-hand side. I'm into it, man. I'm, I'm hoping that he makes a difference. He definitely fits in to this squad. So with Gonzalo Guedes coming back from his loan out to Benfica, Valencia. I get mixed. I get him, his career is confusing me. Um, This is what the squad's looking like. Uh, basically two people every position, except for Trey or Ray, who I haven't been able to get rid of. Um, you can see clearly been trying to get rid of him. He's got that price tag on him. But um, still two players every position, except for that midfield spot. Tommy Doyle looking brilliant, apparently. Guedes looking brilliant, apparently. Jan Tillman shifted across into the middle. Up front, still an issue, but the thing is, like, this is how I've set it up and how I have it looking. But Cunha can play up front. Guedes can play up front. Um, we could probably do something with Abada and Neto. And it's Gary O'Neill's team. He can do whatever he wants. He gets another season at the club. Again, we will assess how he's looking at the end of this season. Hopefully, like, I think we've made positive changes at least. So, I mean, really, we should be going on the up and up. So, if we finished ninth last season, we should probably be finishing 7th, 8th, that sort of thing. Moving up, moving up, moving up. And hopefully not losing the second round of Portsmouth in the Cup. Let's see how we get on. See you at the end of the season. End of season number two. We're really starting to turn this into our own squad and, and really change Wolves, hopefully, for the better. Or we'll regress and we'll finish 12th this season. So 47 points we got this season. Last season we got 61. So we've gone down by 14 points somehow. Don't really understand it. Who's performed? Who hasn't? What's the story? 
Lajic, our best player, somehow this season. Cunha's gone down by about 13 goals or something. Abada had a decent season, 7 goals, 12 assists. I'll take that. Oh, Tommy Doyle, 5 goals, 7 assists from holding midfield. You'd absolutely take those. Looking very good. Up to 81 million he could be worth now. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Kilman's wanted, Dawson's wanted by AK. Jose Sars wanted, Bent whoever Bentley is is wanted. Hmm. Ryan Aitnuri doesn't have a work permit. So he's played six games all season. One. Hmm. Ah. Uh, that's an issue. Okay, well. He's either leaving or we're getting him a work permit. Like it's like those are the two options and there's nothing else that can happen. Um, as for contracts, uh, Dawson's expires, so he'll go. I don't know. 35 years old, I'm not going to keep him around, especially, oh my god, 7 pace and 7 acceleration, um, yeah, he can go, um, Christensen had a good season, I mean, a mixed bag of starts and, um, bench appearances, but we'll take that, Sirachi had a good season, anyone else interesting, I mean, Hodzic had a decent season, I guess, I mean, not average rating wise, but, you know, centre back for a, Team that's finished twelfth in the league, so he's not going to be brilliant, is he? Um, all right. Well, I think Gary O'Neill's a casualty. Like I, I, we've given him a better squad to do things with. I think. Anyway, um, like we lost Sarabia, which isn't great, I guess, and, and Johnny Otto, but placed it with Rasmus Christensen, Sarachi, yeah, Abada, who's done very well, and key players like. Like, Pedro Neto has performed heaps worse this season. Like, he's he's probably played less, I get that, but... Performed much worse. Same with Cunha, who's played... Again, played less, but not 18 goals in the season worse. What the, whatever it is. Anyway, I, I know that maths was wrong. I don't care. Um, all right, I'm going to go... So, the way that I'm going to replace him... <laughs> Because I've already decided he's got, he's got, he's got, he's got, bugger him. Um, I'm going to replace him by going to the manager's, like the staff search list thing and finding some head coaches that I think might fit what we want to do and move the club forward, that sort of thing. And we'll see, I guess. Um, I'll also do some transfers. So I'll, I'll start with the coach and then try to do some transfers to make it into a team for that coach, I guess, um, which look already at, it should be better than whatever Gary O'Neill's done because he's not done well. I was going to swear. I was really going to swear. You know, anyway, moving on. I'll uh, Two seconds. See you shortly. I think we've done a wonderful job of replacing Gary O'Neill. Look, this guy is he's, he's shooting up there in the ranks of world managers right now. He's doing an absolutely fantastic job where he's gone in. He's changed the club completely. Like the, the way that they play football is absolutely ridiculous. It's Roberto De Zerbi. He got sacked in November of the first season. So, of course, we're two full seasons in. So, he's had a season and a half unemployed. Why wouldn't he come to our wall side? We were sitting like we finished ninth and then 12th. He's been unemployed for almost two years. He already plays a 4-2-3-1, as you see here. Uh, can we fit a gag and press? Don't care. Uh, uh, that's the man to do it. If... If there's someone to come in and change what the club's doing, this is the guy to do it. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited about it. I'm also excited about some transfers we've done. So some surprising deals, some expected deals, basically the first one being very much expected. It is Rayanate Nuri. I did want him to be someone who did stick around, but we couldn't get him a work permit. I don't know. I don't really understand it. I think in real life he'll get one easily. I don't really understand it, but... He's gone. Um, we, we did get 25 million pounds from him, I think, um, which like that, looking at him now being worth almost 60 million and sucks. And as I said, ideally I would have kept him around, but I couldn't get him a work permit. So I had to sell him and getting 25 million for a player who had like two years left on his contract, but couldn't play for the club. I'll take it, I guess. Also leaving the club is Someone who, he'd been on loan for a few years now. Um, he 
Uh, I, yeah, I haven't even spoken about him yet. It's Giacchino. Um, he's gone to Porto for £21 million, which I'm pretty happy with after, you know, some loans at Famili... Famili... Fam that place. And then Salzburg um, last season where he did okay to then sell him to Porto for £21 million. I'll take that. Don't really know why, but I'll take it. To the unexpected changes and one of them's in goals. It is Jose Sarr. He's gone to Brighton. They came in with an offer of £15 million. He was keen to go after conceding 59 goals and only seven clean sheets last season. Mm. Um, yeah, he, well, look, again, he's 30. Similarly to Johnny and uh, Doherty, um, we needed to get money for him or get rid of him, basically. I think because like, he's decent, but if we want to, in the next three years, have this team, you know, qualifying for Europe and that sort of thing. He's got to go and, uh, and he has. Next up, someone we touched on at the start of the video, someone I do really like the look of uh, the start of Premier League life. It is Bellegarde. Um, he's gone to uh, Marseille. He didn't, uh, yeah, hit. he didn't hit. Um, like, played a, a decent amount in his first season, but again, sec second season, he didn't. Did, he didn't. He played nine times in the Premier League across the season, um, so to be able to get a profit on him, He's pretty sensational. He's gone back to France. He's gone to Marseille. That's it. I don't even know why they've spent that money on him. He, he looks rubbish. They've left him out of the Champions League squad. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm stunned. Anyway, moving on. Replacing the gaping hole in goalkeeping so that we didn't have to play... Is his name David Bentley? Or is that the player who played for... Like Blackburn and Tottenham. And at one stage they said he was the next Beckham. I don't know. Anyway, it's Gavin Bazunu. Um, I've brought him in from Southampton. £27 million. Pounds. He played a couple of seasons, a good season in the Championship. A decent Premier League season. Better than our season last season, defensively, anyway. Um, and he looks quite good. He's 23 years old. He'll only get better and he'll be here for the rest of the video, I think. Probably. Replacing Ryan Aitnuri at left back, it is Miguel Gutierrez. Um, uh, from my severe save, if you remember that one, if you have been around a while, um, this cycle of the game, I guess. Um, but um, yeah, Girona had got him from Real Madrid for a couple of million, um, played a couple of good seasons, got a lot of football under his belt. We've brought him for 15 million pounds. He's just to compete with Sirachi, really. I, I think Sirachi will probably play more than Gutierrez, but you know, good com competition, and most importantly, he has a work permit. Replacing Bellegarde in, I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry, but in midfield, um, hey, look, I think this player is quite good. I think we've done quite well to secure him. We've only paid £15 million for a player who's now worth £36 million. It is Lewis Ferguson in from Bologna. He had had some good times there. I mean, a couple of good seasons, played a lot of football, only £3 million they paid for him. Nom fee? What does nom fee mean? Is that the price of a nice steak dinner or something? I don't know. Um, anyway, um, a succulent meal? Um... Uh, yeah, anyway, played a lot of football in Serie A, done decent, we've bought him. Um, and I think that's probably a definite, it's, it's an upgrade, it's a huge upgrade, I think. Replacing Craig Dawson, who has, of course, I was going to say gone on to greener pastures. Does that sound like he's died? Because that's not what I mean. He might have, though. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not keeping tabs on him. Anyway, it's David Zima. Um, he's coming from Torino. He's had... The second season was good. This is here. I don't know why he's only played two games there. Probably Per, per Scherz's... Per Scherz's fault. Um, so I had a very good season last season at Torino. Average rating of seven um, in Serie A is pretty decent. I'll take that. Um, only paid, what was it, 15 million? 15 million pounds for him is pretty good, I think. And he's 24. Probably improve. Probably be here for a few years, I think. Lastly, probably less, much less exciting and much less likely to make an impact than the last few players. Um, did I say lastly? Because there's two to go. And they're both free transfers. It is Taylor Harwood Bellis. I think he's going to be a common one in these videos because if Manchester City are letting him go for free all the time, I guess we'll take him. Um, if anything, to get a profit on him. Because, I mean, uh, if, you know, we signed him three weeks ago or whatever, we could get him for 27 million now. That's good profit. That's money we can reinvest. No, I won't yet. We'll see. But maybe you'll go out alone. I don't know. Lastly, another free transfer. This one from Manchester United. It is Ahmad Diallo, which seems bizarre. 
I don't know why they're letting him go for free. I guess if he hasn't done anything though. Isn't he, didn't he, did he actually spend time at Sunderland? Am I insane? I feel like he did actually play for Sunderland. Am I nuts? Is this wrong? Anyway, um, he had a fine time in the championship last season. And we've got him for a free trade. He's not worth as much as Harwood Bellis. He'll do fine anyway. Look, this is what the squad's then looking like. And really, it is probably a more complete squad. I mean, we do have like extra bodies in a couple of places. I get rid of one um, because it was a double up. Um, we do have three centre, I mean, five centre backs really. But really, across the park, we're looking quite good. Again, striker is still an issue. Nobody wants this guy. Nobody's come in for him. Nobody's wanted him. It's not, I don't. I, I, and I understand why they don't want him, because he's rubbish. He is rubbish. Um, and then Kalajic is fine. You'd think a tall striker would score more in football manager, but he doesn't. That's fine, whatever. Um, uh, yeah, and Diallo's down there, but nobody really cares about Diallo, so it's fine. Um, yeah, we'll see, I guess. Look, it's, it's season number one. I've changed it to a gag and press for Roberto Zerbi, and um, hopefully he gets the business done. Gets the job done, does the business. Bye. Look, I don't want to say that hiring Roberto De Zerbi was an absolute masterstroke or that I'm the best director of football in the world because the changes I've made don't need to be fantastic transfers, but just the management changes will do it because I'm not good at picking a coach. But we've finished fifth in the Premier League. We have finished fifth in the we finished fifth in the Premier League. 70 points we've got after 47 last season. A change of coach, 70 points. One point behind Arsenal. Could have finished. Could have could if we had won our last game, would have finished second, but we drew to Leeds. Those same teams got promoted and then relegated again. Anyway, Leeds have finished in Europa League positions. That's very confusing. Um yeah, anyway, um Fifth in the Premier League. How have we bloody done that? Um goals, we haven't scored too many. 62, which I mean it is about there in the table really but and goals against is he's, I don't really understand it I've got to be honest we've done well though um quarter finally the FA Cup sucks second round of the bloody by Leicester that sucks um squad who's done the business uh Kilman wants to leave and fair enough he's barely played Howard oh, Bellis barely played we expected that um Sirachi barely played so um Zerbi, forgot his name immediately, um, likes Gutierrez more, sure. Lamina barely played, Diallo barely played, of course. Huang barely played, that's weird. And Tealman barely played, oh, Tealman not playing is not good. Oh, he's not, he's not improving. Fabio Silva wants to leave, good. Um, Cunha's wanted by Southampton, all right. Goals, it was Guedes and who's... Wanted by Liverpool, Manchester United, and Atletico Madrid. Sure. All right, mate. 15 goals, 6 assists. 11 goals, 10 assists for a Barda who looks a Barda as good as you'd expect. I don't know. I tried to make that into a joke. It didn't really work. Um, some good contributions across the park. Assists, Neto, a Barda. About it. Uh, expiring contracts, yes. Wang and Lamina. Which Lamina is leaving, he's going to Montpellier. Wang wanted by Torino and Shakhtar. He's 30 years old. Yeah, right. I feel like I'm looking at these and I'm just thinking about who can leave. L not like how we've actually performed. I'm just excited to get rid of people. Bazunu's had a good first season. I'll take that. He's now wanted by Chelsea. That one sings. Um, uh, hopefully not. Um, I will um, do anything I can to keep hold of Roberto Zerbi and Gavin Bazunu. Firstly, because they have great names. Secondly, because they had done a great job. Anyway, that's three seasons in the bag. We've qualified for the Champions League with Wolves. I'll do more transfers and let's see how far we can take them. We've sold some people. We've made some money. We've bought some people. That's how a transfer window works, I guess. Um, also, if there's been a glitch in Football Manager, I don't know if I've ever seen this before, but you're like, 
when you see it, you'll see it. So, uh, but see, he's on the screen now. It's it's Ian Thielman, and getting rid of him, that's fine. It's not a glitch. That's normal, right? You think that makes sense? I'm, you know, I, I said that I'd, he hadn't progressed or whatever. That's not what I sold him for. That is not what I sold him for. I don't know what's happened. He seems he's, he's performing worth it. Uh, why does it say that? Why does it say that? There's no way. I'm sure it was like, like 19. Don't understand it. Anyway, um, because that it's freaking me out because now my whole thing looks odd because it says 100 because that's not what I got in that's not what happened it's weird it's weird anyway um he's gone it's not for 195 anyway also leaving it was a player who had a very good couple of seasons with us after being out on loan for the first season it is Gonzalo Guedes he's gone to Manchester United so 70 million pounds um he's is 29 I can't even justify it with that can I like he's Look, he would have been around for the next couple of seasons, and 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 he's quite decent. Um, because at the end of the day, like we've got two seasons left, he would have been thirty or thirty-one by the end of the second season. <sighs> yeah, we got good money for him, so we can. That is legitimate seventy million. I don't know what. Still bizarre, man. Um, yeah, so I got money for him, so that's good. Also got money for Max Kilman. Um, didn't realize he was as old as he is, but like we are three years in the future, right? Two years in the future. Hmm. Anyway, um, uh, yeah, we got twenty five million for him. Yeah, twenty five million pounds. Been at the club a long time. Um, as you, as you saw, didn't 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 play under. Did not play under Deserby. So to get twenty seven, twenty five oh, yeah, million for him. Um, Pretty good. I'll take that. I'm pretty pretty happy with that one. Um, yeah, we had to replace him as well. And lastly, the most exciting one, the most exciting outgoing of the video. Uh, look, I I think this is enough of a win. But like beyond whatever we achieve in the next two seasons, beyond qualifying for the Champions League, this is the achievement. This is the crowning achievement. The one point in the video, uh, our whole video that's exciting. It's Fabio Silva. Fabio Silva's gone. We've got rid of him. West Ham have come in with a 20 million pound offer for no reason whatsoever because they're absolute chumps. He's gone. He's rubbish. Bugger off. Go, I don't know, cry to daddy or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, gone. Bugger off. P.O. Get out of here. He's gone. We've then gone and spent about 80 million pounds. So as I said, I would love that 195 million pounds. I would have loved to be able to spend that on, I don't know who, but, you know, someone. We've spent about 80 million pounds, 85 million pounds. Um, so, you know, with the Guedes 70, the 25 for Kilman, the 20 for, we didn't even, we've made a profit. Uh, anyway, the first player that's come in, um, this was one that actually I did in the um, Manchester United one that came out a little while ago. Um, it's Davide Fratesi. Um, again, free transfer. I don't know why this keeps happening, but he's a free transfer. He's actually at Inter in real life. He just scored, scored his first goal for Italy, scored his first goal for Inter. Um, I now know who he is, which I didn't last time around. Anyway, quite good to get him for a free transfer. I'm pretty damn happy, especially the te team that is now going into the Champions League. We can definitely deal with, deal with, use this sort of quality. We then made use of Spain and its need for minimum release fee, fee clauses. Is Sergio Arribas? Never heard of him. No idea who he is. Um, only paid seven and a half million pounds for him. Um, brilliant. Looks like sensational. I don't understand why he would have added a, a release clause that low. He looks about twelve years old, but he he plays like a real man. He, he's a man's man. Um, yeah, looks looks quite good to me. We then set an absolute record for a Panama pa Panamanian player, Panamanian, Panamanian. 
It's Jose Cordoba. He's a centre back. Um, he's coming from Spezia. He's quite good. Another Spezia player because Kiwior played there. I mean, he's not a Spezia player. He's played at Levski for six years. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, thirteen million pounds for him. Um, good business. I'm not, it's good business. He's good business, man. He's a quality. He looks quality. Don't get it. Anyway, we'll take those. Now this one seems unrealistic to me. And if, if you th if this is the bit that you are like, you know what, this is stupid, these videos are crap, I I'd probably understand it because this player was transfer listed for the second time in this um, save game. So this is the fourth season. So in three seasons, this player had been transfer listed twice. So he'd left his club that in real life he's just signed for this season. So he'd left them, gone to another club, and been transfer listed again, and we've picked him up. Doesn't seem ridiculous, right? Until I say that it's Dominic Shabaslai. So, what is happening in this save game? So, Liverpool signed him for 60 million, had a great first season playing 33 times. I mean, two goals and four assists is brilliant. Um, but then, played 17 times on a loan to Inter. They bought him, played him in about half the season, all appearances off the bench, transfer listed him, we got him for £19 million, could go up to 21 and a half. Yep, a player that two seasons ago, three seasons ago, Liverpool paid £60 million for him. We bought for 20 And look at him. I mean, yeah, he's probably not as good as he... He gets in some seasons, but for us, going into the Champions League, blah, 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 blah. Take those. We still needed attacking reinforcements, and the first one comes in the form of an Italian powerful centre forward, Pietro Pellegri. Pellegri? Pellegri? I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, he'd been at Torino this season. Fantastic. 18 goals, 37 appearances. Not a good season, this one. Don't know what happened, really. I don't know why he ever went to Monaco. What happened here, mate? Anyway, why can't I select multiple? I wish I could select multiple seasons and it just showed me the stats from those seasons, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, yeah, he's been at Torino, scored 18 goals, 7 goals, moved to us. Decent. 25 years old, good physicals, good, yeah, good all around. Tall enough, strong enough, handsome enough. That's not all. Lastly, and certainly not least, it is a striker, French. Rumoured with Chelsea in the transfer window, I think. It's Eli Wahi, Eli, Eli, Eli Wahi, I'm going to say. Um, been at Lens um, for a few years, um, which I think he did end up just moving to in real life. When he was rumoured with Chelsea. I think Chelsea were going to get him and then loan him out to like Strasbourg or whatever it is that Chelsea do. Um... Lons have got him 13 goals, 15 goals, 14 goals, standard, simples, easy, doing a great job. 27 million pounds we've spent on him. He still looks decent for 23 years old. He'll continue to get better, paying him a hefty wage, but that's fine. He likes his overhead kick, so it's probably worth it. Um, That's filled out squad, which now looks like this. Two players in every position. We've done fantastically. We've... I don't know who Keelan Dallison is. Who's this? Or five-star prospect. Bickle. Anyway, I don't know why he's there. Um, anyway, um, the two players, every position. We look good across the board. Abada and Neto look great. Neto, yeah, he's looking quite good. Worth almost 50 million. Hopefully plays more this season. Looks quite good. As I said, he's one that I do want to keep around. Pelegri and Kalajic still here up front. Um, but why he have put as a winger... Obviously, like, there's a lot of people here who can play multiple roles, like, I don't know, just, yeah, across the front line, like, Sobosly, Shobos, Sh he can play holder, he can play attack in midfield, he can probably even play on the left, Arebus can probably play from the middle, Why he probably both sides up front, same with Neto and Abada, like, yeah, there's options there for, um, old mate Deserby. Anyway, um, yeah, that's what the team looks like, Ahmed Hodzic still looking quite nice, looking quite Bosnian. Let's get season four underway and uh, hopefully do all right in the Champions League. We'll see. Let's do it. So, 
After qualifying for the Champions League, we've obviously made a lot of changes. You'd think that with that added workload, added, you know, however many fixtures, I mean, obviously it's late enough now that it would be the new format of the Champions League, so there's at least eight group, eight league phase fixtures, plus anything that we then go on to do. So you'd think, you know, naturally it's a little bit worse. We've finished third. We have finished third in the Premier League, so better than Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea, Arsenal, just Newcastle and City above us, which if we had won on the last day, oh, it was against Newcastle. If we had beat Newcastle on the last day, we finished above them. So we could have, we could have, could have finished second. I mean, obviously Manchester City are the best team, we're not going near them, but, um, Oh, we finished third. As for the other competitions, round of six, 16 by by Ranchers City is fine. That's fine. Did they did they go on to win it? Let's have a look. No, Inter Milan did. Ranchers City got knocked out in the quarterfinals by Barcelona on penalties. Um, and then Inter Milan's gone on to win it. Um, each of the seasons, so the first season... Ah? Huh? So we've done four seasons, but it's also, it's got two winners for the same seasons. That I think this one from Manchester City gets added with the like transfer update that um, sorted out as I do on the they do great work that's what happened um anyway um then Real Madrid PSG PSG which sucks I don't want to see them win it's garbage um into winning it's cool anyway um uh, third round by Leeds fourth round by Chelsea sucks anyway um, performances uh, 22 goals for Eliwahi yes sir you absolute ledge well done son. Proud of the club's position, as you should be. Pellegri, 13 goals in his first season. Looking brilliant. Looking beautiful. 26 years old. Pedro Neto's had a good season. He's wanted by Real Madrid now, too. 27 years old. He's scored 13 goals, 14 assists. Absolutely stunning. Um, so after a pretty average season the previous season. What was it? Oh, it was two seasons ago it was average. but And then last season he was better. This season, brilliant. And yeah. Well played. Shopify. 10 goals, 6 assists in all competitions, looking brilliant, looking like great business, stunning. Arebus, his first season at the club, 7 goals, 9 assists, again, looking brilliant, looking worth every single penny of the 7.5 million we paid for him, which is nuts. Um, Cunha wants to start more games because he only started 8 of them, which is probably fair. He could probably go, I don't care, who wants him? Norwich, if you have 30 or 36 million pounds that you want to give me for him, Go over it. Semedo is leaving. So Semedo is going. Um, also leaving Kalajic, maybe? He's wanted at the end of his contract, probably. Because his contract runs out. So does... Oh, it's Daniel Bentley. David Bentley is that player, I was thinking of. From... Anyway. Sirachi wants to leave because he played seven appearances. Zima didn't play. Is that the guy that we just signed? No, it's his second season. So his first season he did all right. Second season, not so much. So we probably just bought in another centre back that's taken his place, Cordoba. That that's fine. That happens. Keelan Dallison oh, didn't play because that's the still fickle. That's good. Um, Lewis Ferguson, not who I clicked. Lewis Ferguson, second season played a bit less, but we did bring in Fratesi and Shabaslai. So. Um, and uh, Tommy Dawes is still here, doing quite well, um, looking quite good, hasn't played for England yet, don't love that, but did play a fair bit, I mean, 35 appearances, 20 of them were off the bench, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, good appearances, oh, good appearances, I guess, um, Abada, still quite good, Christensen, Neto, Cunha, when he played, I don't really understand that, did he get injured? No? Yes? No? No, not this season. That... Either he didn't get injured once this season because the tight hamstring that would have been at the end of last season so he hasn't got injured or anything he's just not played all right well that's cool um all right season five ready to go um let's do some transfers how do we improve on that because i don't think we do improve on that do we improve on third place with wolves Maybe we get further in other competitions. I'd love to win something, but I mean, the fact that we've made Champions League two seasons row with Wolves, I think that's successful. Uh, clearly, De Serbi's a great man. Season five, let's do some transfers. So this summer, a lot less to really actually tell you about. I mean, 
obviously Semedo left, obviously um, some other people probably left, like Kalajic or something, I don't remember. Anyway, um, so leaving the club for £16 million was David Zima. I mean, he, first season was good, second season was meh, and then we've got a profit home. We take those, someone's car is being really loud. Um, he's fine to get money for him, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that, that we've got to reinvest it, so pretty happy. Also leaving the club, someone who was ready to leave the club, it's Marcelo Saracci, as you can see, he barely played in his second season, he's gone to Galatasaray for seven and a half, which is what we paid for him three years ago, so I'm pretty happy with that. He's 29, he's fine. Yeah, anyway, that's it. First of the incomings, it is a right back, it is a Japanese international, it is Yukinari Sugawara. Yukinari Sugawara. He's only played one for Japan, but I can say Japanese international because he's one time. Um, we've brought him in from Borussia Dortmund. He's been at, so uh, they paid 17 and a half for him from RZ a couple of years back. We brought him in for 12 and a half, so I think we've done rather well um, in replacing Semedo. So obviously still a backup to Christensen, but he looks quite good to me. I'll, I, I think he's pretty good. Replacing uh, Marcelo Sirachi at left back. It's Tyrant Mitchell. It feels like a, just a, it's an easy answer, you know. I mean, anytime you need a left back and you're in the Premier League and you have a little bit of money, you go for Tyrant Mitchell. He's been at Crystal Palace all his life since he was a little baby. Um, he's played a lot of football. Um, he's gotten quite good. Twenty-eight and a half million pounds we paid for him. Well, I mean, that's what it says. But if you go here, could go up to fifty-five. Yep, yeah, I've been sneaky. Um, so yeah, it looks quite good, worth a lot of money. He's played for England, he's a solid left back. Happy. Adding depth to the midfield, we have brought in Inter Milan central midfielder Christian Aslani. So um, again, Inter Milan, um, where we got uh, Frutesi from, sort of. I mean, he had been elsewhere, hadn't he? He'd been a Sassuolo or something. Anyway, um, he just barely played. Like for the last four seasons, he's barely played. Um, we still had to pay 27 million for him apparently, but yeah, that's decent. I mean, we'll take those. I mean, definitely a Champions League sort of caliber central midfielder. Again, probably not our number one choice between, you know, him and Tommy Doyle and Fratesi and Gio Gomez even. He's probably fourth in line, but he's he's decent backup, I guess. Then we needed a center back and we've, we've got a center back. It's Usman Diamande. Ah, look. I mean, I feel like he's one that you just sort of have to go for every now and then. Um, I mean, he's very good. We played a lot of money for him. He's been very good for sporting for a few years. Um, played a lot of football. And now he's ours. He's brilliant. He's huge. Um, what a man. Perfectionist. Brings it out of defense. He's a beast fitness-wise. Uh, mentally, technically, he's a legend. Quality. And lastly, this season, the last season... We've brought in Jonathan David. He was transfer listed at PSG. He's had a weird bit of a weird career. So he he's been at Lille, obviously, we all know that. He's in 52 million pounds gone to PSG. They've played him 10 times that season, seven times, one time, before putting him on loan to Porto, where he played well for four games, but they only played him four times. He's gone back to PSG. He played very well for two games. They didn't play him again. So we've got in, brought him the next season. Um, bit of depth. Um, obviously, Kalajic has gone on a free transfer. So bit of depth up front. Can do a bit of everything. That's it. So then for the final season, another shot in the Champions League. Another shot in the league. Hopefully we win something. I mean, I'm not going to say that I think we're going to win either of those competitions. But maybe we'll do something. I don't know. This is what the uh, squad looks like. Mizuno Bentley... Christensen Sugawara, Hamid Hodzic Diamande, Kiel. Kiwior Diamande? That's not right. Fixed it. Kiwior Cordoba, <laughs> Gutierrez Mitchell, uh, Aslani Gomez, Fratesi Ferguson Doyle. So great midfield depth there. Sergio Ribas and David on the left. Gunyaros Chobosly through the middle. Abada and Pedro Neto looking stunning. Wanted by probably someone good. Real Madrid, yep. Yeah. Wahi and Pellegri up front. Looking great. I'm happy with it. From what we started with, with the Craig Dawson's, the I don't know, Johnny Otto's and Matt Doherty and whatever. Uh, Fabio Blow goddamn silver prick. To this. Pretty good. Different. Let's see how season 5 goes. Alright, 
end of season number five. We've done it. We've gotten to the end of it. Well done if you made it this far. Well done to me as well for making it this far. Anyway, drum roll for how we went in the Premier League. We finished sixth. All right. Well, and we've shocking form. Um, we've lost to lost to. I mean, Liverpool and Newcastle's fine. Lost to Leicester, drew with Leeds and Chelsea. So really, we could have been much higher, considering we're. I mean, on we're one point less than Arsenal, who are up in third. Having not won in our last five games, we could have finished third quite easily. City have dropped to eighth somehow, with Ancelotti as their boss. I don't know what's happening. Um, who's in Legends? I thought I saw something weird there. No, just, anyway, the, the normal people. Anyone here weird? Mm, no. Guardiola's only an icon, though, which I feel like... Let me go in the... Probably going to the legend status. Um, anyway, um, what's saying? Um, oh yeah, Europa League. That's fine. Um, Champions League though. Um, if we, how would I do this? Oh wait, look. Oh, Leeds have qualified for the Champions League, which definitely means that they've won something. They've won the Europa League. Anyway, um, here's the rest of the cup. We won something. We won something. We won something. We got knocked out in the Champions League quarterfinal, which, you know, that's that's fine. We got knocked out by Bayern Munich 5-2 on aggregate, which is just fine. Um, we haven't actually got to the final yet, which is against, I mean, Bayern Munich, who we got knocked out by against Liverpool. So I'm pretty okay with that, I guess. Um, in the uh, FA Cup, Liverpool knocks out. They finished second there in the Champions League semi-final. That's pretty good. And we won ourselves a nice little Carabao Cup. So uh, beating... Arsenal in the semi-final, Southampton in the quarter-final, Coventry, Coventry leads. Didn't play in that round, but um, why didn't we have to play anyone good? Where's City getting knocked out? City, they're against Millwall, and then Brighton on penalties, and then they lost in Manchester Derby, but we didn't have to play Manchester because it was Leicester beat them, and then we beat Leicester 4-1 in the final. you love to see it. Um, anyway, um, that's, yeah. That's fine. Uh, Pellegri, 23 goals, 18 for Jonathan David. Pedro Neto, 17 goals, 14 assists is mental. Um, 13 goals for Wahi, 8 goals, 14 assists for Abada. Arebus wants to leave because he wants a new contract. Don't care because this is the end of your life. Um, Lewis Ferguson wants to leave because he's barely played, which is fair. A bunch of people wanted. Some people wanting to leave. Kristen's playing... Much less than Sugawara is weird, but then even Sugawara didn't really start that many games. So we've definitely, someone else has played it right back. Like Ahmed Hodzic, I think, has played right back. Whatever. It's Roberto De Zerbi's team, and Roberto De Zerbi's team has won a Carabao Cup and qualified for the Champions League for two years, qualified for the Europa League one other year, and it took. Champions League quarterfinal. Absolutely take that in five years at Wolves. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you made it this far, you're an absolute legend. You've done it sensationally. Make sure you do leave us a comment down below. Let me know. I don't know if you want to see any more of these videos. There's some EAFC uh, coming shortly, probably. Um, I mean, probably have to have put my two cents in there, I guess. Anyway, let me know what you reckon. Put comment down below, subscribe, comment, like, all the things. Um, that's it. See you next time. Peace.